are you guys? I am so happy to be back. It is Saturday when I am filming this and it was another long week. But I made it. Did you make it? How was your weekend? Because I assume I will be getting this up after the weekend is over. So how was it? Did anybody do pumpkin patch? Oregon is so flippin' finicky because it'll be like really beautiful all week and then when it comes to the weekend, it's horrible. This weekend, it's beautiful, but unfortunately, I can't go to the pumpkin patch with my kiddo. Oh well. Maybe next weekend. Probably not. It'll probably rain. <laughs> anyway... I hope that you had a great weekend. Let's take some time. Talk about a little polish. So the first manicure that I wore this week I loved so much. It was really simple but Halloween-ish. I am very into the Halloween colors. You guys, the sirens. Every time I start filming. They know. Somebody knows. There's a retirement home like right down the street from my house. So I get a lot of sirens on my street, which is kind of horrible and sad, but it's the truth. Okay, I think they're done. We shall continue. Okay, so the first manicure that I wore this week was fantastic. I loved it. It was kind of Halloween inspired with the colors. Uh, so the three colors I used, I used this green, which is like a pea green. It's called oh, Split Pea Soup um, by Megalast, Wet n Wild Megalast. And this was... I think it came out last year. Um, I'm pretty sure it came out last year. And then I used this Moonshine Manny from her Halloween collection. It's Younger in the Morning and it is a really dark, dark purple jelly and it has a whole bunch of green glitters and multiple sizes and I think there's holographic and silver and there's just like all kinds of yummy stuff in here. So that is gorgeous. And then I used, this I pulled out for my birthday, like in the polishes I wanna wear for my birthday pile. And this is Jinx from OPI and it's textured and it is fire on your nails. It is so, so pretty. I love this texture. Um, it, is opaque in two coats and it just have you worn it do you have it do you love it i love it mmm so good um so what i did is i painted jinx on two of my nails and the younger in the morning on two of my nails and then i just taped some stripes off and painted stripes with the green and it turned out pretty cool. It was really simple, but I liked it. The next two you kind of have already seen. Um, well, not kind of. You have. Well, you've seen one of them. So I did the tutorial for that, like, autumnal floral thing. But I tried to do it with different set of colors first. So the first color combination that I used, I used these three China Glaze. Um, Strawberry Fields and Far Out and Nice Caboose. And I ended up not liking the way that tutorial came out. I really like these colors together. I just didn't like it for this time because it was not fall appropriate. So I did this manicure first, and it's the exact same pattern that I put in my tutorial. It was just a different color combination. And then I redid it the next day and used these colors instead, and I 
was crazy about this manicure. I loved it so much. This is what I used for the tutorial. So Teal Death Do You Part and Southern Belle and Leggy Legends and oh lordy. This combination was amazing. It might be like one of my favorites for the whole year. I don't know. I really liked it. Really, 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 really a lot. I really, really liked it. And then I did something completely not autumn or fall appropriate. But I did a little gradient. Really simple. I didn't do any nail art on top of the gradient. I wanted to, but I don't have very much time to paint my nails, even though I paint them often. We went through this last week. Um, <laughs> this is for the first time and Celebrity Spotting, both by Orly. I found Celebrity Spotting at Marshall's last week or a few weeks ago, and it's just like a dark royal purple with a whole bunch of like gold flecks in there. It's bigger than like a shimmer. They kind of look like flakies a little bit, but they're real tiny. Um, and then this of course is just like a fuchsia purple pink. It's kind of similar to <sighs> that's shore bright. I just had a brain fart. Um, it's just a smidgen more pink than that shore bright. And I feel like it's a little bit more saturated. Did we go over this before? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Anyway, beautiful, fantastic, amazing color. This came out in their summer collection this year and I adore it. It is perfection. And the last mani, the one that I have on today, you probably can't see, but you'll be able to see in the picture. Just plain manicured, no nail art whatsoever, but this is 90 uh, Singer Auto Salvage, and this came from one of her collections last year, I think. It is like a really, really dirty brown green with a whole bunch of gold holographic. Oh, Lanta. It is so like ugly, pretty baby poop kind of color, but I am a crazy about this. I love it so much. It's sparkly and fall and mm, it definitely does it for me. So Singer Auto Salvage by 90. And we are done. That's one more week down. What have you been wearing this week? I always love to hear. Did you guys watch my tutorial? How was it? You can be honest. I did get a new camera for my birthday, which is what I am using now. So also let me know how this compares to my phone. Hopefully it is better because it was slightly more expensive than the phone. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, I don't think. But I really am excited because I think I will be able to do some better nail art videos. Hopefully, if you guys liked it, let me know. Now I'm blabbering, so I should just go. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye.